I wanted to talk today about the rosary and how this beautiful prayer has been an integral part in my life and the life of so many great Christians throughout Christian history. I just think it's a beautiful prayer. I'm so blessed to have grown up with it in my family. My parents taught it to me. Um, but the reason I started praying my daily rosary, probably for the last decade or even more, is because of the great witness of certain saints like John Paul II and Mother Teresa and how they really spoke so highly of it and th said how it was so impactful in their lives. And so I said, heck, if the rosary is good enough for these great saints, then I might as well give it a try. And you know, when I tried it and when I did it daily and made it a habit, um, it was so beautiful and so impactful for me. It became like a rhythm and became like a, a part of my daily routine and part of my daily prayer life that really helped me. And I would offer certain intentions during the rosary and I would meditate on the life of Christ through saying these prayers and using these beads to keep me focused and centered in my prayer. So one of the things we don't always think about when we think about the rosary is it's actually very biblical and it's very historical as well. Um, we know the prayers that we say in the Rosary is the Apostles' Creed, which is our profession of faith. Then we say the Our Father, which is the Lord's Prayer given to us by Jesus and found in the Bible as well. We say the Hail Mary, which are the words of St. Gabriel, the Archangel, to Mary and Elizabeth, speaking to Mary as well and asking for Mary to pray for us. And we say the Glory Be, which is the proclamation and the profession of the Trinity. Glory be to the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So by reciting these prayers, by meditating on the different mysteries of Christ's life, there are five different decades per rosary and four different mysteries, the luminous mysteries, the glorious mysteries, the sorrowful mysteries, and the joyful mysteries, just meditating on different parts of Christ's life. That's where the rosary comes from. And it actually can be traced back to the third and fourth century um, when we look at the prayers of the monks where they're using different um, prayer beads in their prayer life to help them stay centered and help them meditate and stay focused. Um, and then also the monks connecting with the laity, whereas the monks would say 150 psalms a day, which was a little bit hard for the laity, but when they broke it down into different prayers that these laity could recite, it would be in replace of saying all 150 psalms that these monks had memorized. Um, so it goes way back. St. Dominic's accredited for helping us to find the different mysteries and for giving us the rosary. Um, but it's been a beautiful Christian tradition prayed by so many great Christians that help us grow closer to Jesus Christ. And that's what I want to encourage for you guys. But what about repetitive prayer? Doesn't Jesus talk about um, the vain repetition and how that's bad in the Bible? Well, we have to think of the context and he's referring to Elijah and the pagans and their vain repetition trying to call down fire from heaven um, and their repetitive prayer there. But we also see in the Psalms a lot of beautiful repetition. And some of my uh, most favorite Christian music by Hillside Song, I think about oceans and that beautiful song. And I think about other songs with their refrains and repetitive music and if you've ever listened to Christian music um, you definitely hear a lot of repetition so it's not objectively wrong I um, mean it can be beautiful I mean how many times do you say I love you to your wife or to your spouse or to your kids you know and does God ever get sick of that you know does um, a mother ever get sick of how often you tell them that you love them or a wife or a spouse I mean that repetition is good. The rosary has been a blessed part of my prayer life and I'm hoping you can benefit from this great prayer as well and use it to grow closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's get up in this thing. There we go. Hey, listen. I can edit this, you know. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you can either erase it or you can edit it. Now All look right. here. Hey man, my man is in San Antonio. Hey man. He filming himself, but guess what? He filming us too. But, and guess what? Guess what? I'm a child of God. Amen. All right. Have a nice day. See you guys later. Bye -bye. <laughs>